Hi guys. So, one new video on uh, aviation. I thought of making this video just now when I was uh, after my food. I was having my coke, and suddenly I realized that I can make a video out of this uh, coke bottle. So I thought of uh, doing this small video. It is going to be very very small video, and the video is about when Bernoulli's theorem is not applicable. We'll try to check out and see when Bernoulli's theorem is not applicable. In majority of the book, if you find, it is written in terms of thermodynamics. But I got a different interpretation of uh, the same thing in terms of uh, aerodynamics. So, let's try to find it out when Bernoulli's theorem is not applicable. And why I'm doing this video, probably because last two or three videos I've been uh, publishing on mathematics, hardcore mathematics, then physics and uh, not doing a video on aviation so I must have something for everybody so that's why I thought of doing this small video on aerodynamics okay so when Bernoulli's theorem is not applicable we'll try to find it out so you have got the airflow so this airflow which we call as streamlines now these streamlines are basically imaginary line which are just used to represent the flow field now each of these streamline, if I take, and if I look at the streamline in a three-dimensional point of view, the smallest possible streamline you can get with the from the three-dimensional point of view, and if you if you somehow can get some, uh, you know, tube out of it, so that would be called as the stream tube. So it is something like this: a stream tube, this straw, where uh, this uh, blue color line. You can think of as the streamlines and each of these streamlines uh, we are taking the cross section and it looks like a tube so this is the stream tube this is the smallest possible tube or the stream uh, which we call a stream filament more specifically so well this is uh, where the Bernoulli's theorem comes into play like where it is uh, or it won't work what exactly I mean so streamlines are basically the line which are tangential to this stream tube now these are the this blue color line are the streamlines which are tangential to this stream tube now can you point the streamline inside the tube is it possible no correct you can only draw uh, this line along the surface of the tube this line cannot pierce through inside if this line cannot pierce through inside this line represent the airflow that means air is not going inside this tube so if the air is not going inside the tube that implies that there is no air inside the stream tube and as there is no air inside the stream tube so definitely you cannot apply any concept of Bernoulli's theorem because Bernoulli's theorem relates pressure and velocity of the air and since it has got no air inside so you cannot apply the concept of Bernoulli's theorem so Bernoulli's theorem is not applicable inside the stream tube this is one of the question very and uh, repeatedly being asked in lot of FA exam Bernoulli's theorem is not applicable to there they will be giving uh, options and the student generally memorize so the reason behind why Bernoulli's theorem is not applicable and where Bernoulli's theorem is not applicable this is the reason why Bernoulli's theorem is not applicable and why it is not applicable so Bernoulli's theorem is not applicable inside the stream tube first point why is it so because what, uh, for that we need to know the concept of stream tube so what is stream tube stream tubes are basically the tube formed using or the smallest possible tube formed using the streamline if we look from the three-dimensional point of view each of these lines represent the flow field which moves along the surface of this tube now this line cannot go inside and as this line cannot go inside so that means there is no flow inside this tube and as there is no flow inside the tube that implies that there is no velocity inside the tube and as there is no velocity inside the tube so Bernoulli's theorem cannot be applicable because Bernoulli's theorem relates pressure and volume sorry pressure and velocity not volume sorry pressure and velocity of the air okay so this is what you need to remember Bernoulli's theorem is not applicable inside the string tube hope you like the video and if you do not like it's up to you I cannot help you bye bye